It was supposed to be a fun night out for both a brother and his sister. But at a four-way stop heading toward Waterloo, Nebraska, things took a turn for the worse. Tonight, a family is in need of help following this bad accident. Joe Chiono has the story you will only see on six. Fractured pelvic bone, a broken right leg, and they had to run a rod down through the knee. So it was just the worst possible case. This hospital room isn't where Mitchell Cavanaugh wanted to spend the last week, but at the same time, he's lucky to be here. How when he got there and first went to open the door, he thought there was no one alive, and just just hearing that from someone who sees that on a day-to-day -day basis, it, it I just felt blessed at the moment that I was still breathing and that I wasn't dead. That was the reaction from first responders after Mitch and his sister Megan collided with a truck heading to a concert in Lincoln. Hit me uh, head on, just T-bone me and everything just went black. Looked over at my sister, she was just covered in blood and she was unconscious and I couldn't wake her up. Waiting nearly an hour, his hope faded until he finally heard a helicopter. Then another sound. Uh, blood curdling screams from the pain from her leg. His sister awoke, medics on scene and knew it was bad. Just asked us, please don't, just don't go towards the light, you know, don't, don't close your eyes, you know, stay with us. I was worried she was dead, honestly. Megan has numerous broken bones, a brain bleed, but is eventually expected to recover. For Mitch's girlfriend, Bailey, the news broke her. I got a text saying Mitch and Megan are in the hospital. and I fell to the ground and just lost it. She knows she's lucky to be sitting next to him at all. I actually used to work here at the med center as a CNA, and his progress is unbelievable. In the end, it might be the tattoo on his arm that says it all. This family will be forever thankful they made it out of this car alive. Well, the Douglas County Sheriff is investigating the crash to figure out who is at fault for all of this damage that you see right here. Right now, that information isn't available. We do know the driver of the truck that was involved was a woman. She is okay. Matt and Jessica, back to you. All right, thanks for that update, Joe. There is a GoFundMe set up for this brother and sister. We also want to let people know Blatt Beer and Table Out West will be holding a benefit on Monday. Mitch actually works there, but he likely won't return for another six to eight weeks. All the details you need are at WOWT.com. New tonight, WOWT 6.